Many have tapped into their passion for art and have used this to create a business. How did they do it? Well, tonight on Shop Talk, we'll learn about the business of art from a gallery that's been running for three decades. An artist who finds inspiration from social and political issues. A crafter who chose her passion over a nine to five job. Bazarista is promoting women as social entrepreneurs. And someone who went from banking to makeup artistry. So sit back and relax. It's a full show tonight. I'm Ria Tanuat Cotrillo. From numbers and stats to colors and glam, that's the transformation Kay Rodriguez underwent to go after her passion. And she's here to tell us her story. Hello, Kay. Welcome Hi. to the show. Thank you for inviting me here. Okay, I love your story. You used to be a banker. Yes. Okay, how does a banker become a makeup artist? Um, I'm always fascinated about makeup. And being a frontliner, we really need to be made up every that's day. True. But when we were merged to another bank, that's when I decided I can pursue my passion and make it as a business. That's when I became a makeup artist. A makeup artist. Okay, so what, what, uh, training did, what types of training did you enroll in to hone your craft? Um, being a late player in the makeup industry, I decided to really focus on my training. So I went to Hollywood for my film and TV special effects. And then I had my airbrush makeup training also. And then I really uh, tried to pursue it by having a, an advanced and master role. And now I'm the chief airbrush makeup trainer of Airbrush Diva Philippines. So aside from being a makeup artist, I'm also a trainer. Oh, wonderful. Okay. But so you went to Hollywood and you said you did like the Hollywood stuff. So that's yes. just not ordinary makeup. That's like yes. the prosthetics. Yes, with the, prosthetics. With the wounds, with the fake blood, Everything. with the monsters, yes. that kind of thing? Yes, yes. Wow. Okay. Everything. But have, yeah. have you been able to use that as well? Yes, yes. But, you know, I really love beauty makeup. Sure. So I focused on the weddings, debuts, uh, TV commercials, photo shoots. Okay, tell me about Airbrush Diva and, and what's the advantage of Airbrush Diva over other types of airbrush makeup on the market? All right. Um, aside from uh, having a very good quality, this is very affordable and this is now available in the market. And when you use it, it gives you a flawless finish yet very natural and sheer. So it doesn't wear out. It stays for more than 18 hours even without retouch. And it's perfect for weddings and debuts because it's heat proof, waterproof, and sweat proof. And cry proof. Tear proof and <laughs> kiss proof too ah. because you can use it for the lips. Amazing. Okay, and where, where is this from? Oh, this is from Hong Kong. Okay, so that's where you train to, to, to do this yes, type of Yes, from Hong Kong, well. but I also had my training for the trainers in Hollywood and New York, and I also went to Australia for that. Wow, okay, so let's get started. We have um, with us Shen, yes. right, who's going to be our, our uh, lovely model. Yes. Okay, so you can get started. What, so, and let us know about what apparatus okay. you're using. Uh, this is my HD lens because mm -hmm. this makeup is high definition ready. So it's intended for HD camera and HD TV. So we can see a magnified view of your pores, your lines. Wow, kaka conscious <laughs> naman. My goodness. So, yeah, this is HD TV, and it, I mean, for HD screens. Yes. Which the, is becoming the norm, right, yes, as far yes. as um, entertainment is concerned. Mm -hmm. So you really have to look at every single pore and... Yes, because I know. can see what can be seen on HD camera. Insane! With this, instantly. Okay, all right. So you have your uh, magic helmet. Yeah, I just had her prep already. Okay, what does the prep include? Okay, uh, it includes the um, toner to help tighten the pores and ex get the excess dirt and uh, oil. Mm -hmm. And then I had her uh, put on some moisturizer because we want her to be really moistened before the product. And then she had her primer to make sure that the airbrush products will really sit on the skin but will not damage the pores or the skin. Okay. All right. And did you have to mix a certain... Uh certain type of colors especially for Shan or there's one shade that's okay uh, for her? It depends or? on the uh, skin of the client but for Shan I think this will be perfect that should for work. her. Yeah. Okay so we have our machine okay. which is that's, that's my machine all right and this is my airbrush gun okay so when we apply it we apply it on a circular motion okay so it's and very you're about, like, light. six inches away yeah. from the from the surface of the skin. And it's a very fine mist. 
You can hardly see it, but with my lens, you you can yeah. see it. Okay. And how different is airbrush makeup from you know the ordinary foundation? Because some I hear some people say, oh, it's more or less the same. Da, 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 da. Oh, this is more longer lasting. Ah, it will not crack. Okay. And this is silicone based. So when it's silicone based, it locks in the moisture of the skin, so it will not crack. Okay, and you don't get so oily or shiny. Today. Yes, and it depends on you if you want it to be dewy or matte. Ah, so you can have both types of finish. Yes. With it. Okay, so tell me about um, your trainings. You train lots of different people. How long is the course? Like, if I want to learn airbrush, the basic in mm -hmm. airbrush makeup, how long would that take me? I offer a one day intensive program. It's a combination of the basic and advanced. So it's just for one day wherein we can mix all the uh, training for the compressors, the gun, but also the complete airbrush training for the moisturizer, foundation, eyeshadow. I, also, I already did her eyebrows. Right. It's also okay. airbrushed. So even if you dance, you sweat, it's still there. Lovely. I'm trying to see it. Like, I can't... Yeah. I can see it a little bit, but like I don't yeah. know if like, my eyes are fooling me, right? Okay, and and how does it feel, Shen, when she's putting the the makeup on you? It's really light, light, just like it's like air. air being yeah, yeah like being air. Real. Great. Okay, and um, so in a, in a single day, um, one person can pretty much learn oh, yes. all the basics. Yes, they can they can learn for uh, the makeup for the bridal makeup fashion and even uh, special makeup for special events like red carpet moment oh, okay. so this so can also be done for yourself if you're a beauty uh, beauty enthusiast you can do it by yourself so you can airbrush yourself yes I airbrushed myself oh. and we have a special compressor for uh, personal makeup because it has three modes you can adjust it from low medium and high so you can perfectly use it for yourself so a lot of frontliners like uh, flight attendants hotel personnel and even bankers can use this for themselves oh, okay. and even so, celebrities. so you don't have to train somebody who wants to be a makeup artist you can train somebody who just wants to do it on themselves yeah yeah, yeah we can okay. do that great that sounds good thank you so much ladies thank you for coming much. and sharing your you. beauty secrets with us here on shop talk well, people have often said that you can only pursue art or business and not both. But I think our guests tonight have disproved that. You can make art your business with the right mix of passion and hard work. So if you missed any of our features, you can catch them again. All you need to do is log on to anc.yahoo.com and tell us what you think about today's episode. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Till next week, I'm Rieta Nwatko Trillo. Thank you for watching Shop Talk.